Welcome guys. Putting a pipe on my snowplow edge last winter was a total fiasco. I already broke one pipe. It was a two inch diameter PVC electrical conduit, you know, schedule 40, but I thought I broke it because I hit a big rock. And here's a piece of it buried in the snow. But what I didn't understand at that time were three things. A, the cold weather definitely affects brittleness. Two, the weight of my snowplow and loader is a lot of constant pressure on a thin piece of Schedule 40 PVC. And D, my plow blade is one half inch wide. So yes, a single cut with a narrow saw blade is going to make a nice tight fit when I pound it on, but will also significantly widen the circumference of the pipe and weaken it. So, not understanding all this, I bought a second one and broke it on installation. Now, I wouldn't say the light bulb in my brain oh. is fully on, but it's starting to glimmer just a little bit. In my mind, I was waffling back and forth about whether to build a steel or iron pipe that I could take on and off or just get a Schedule 80. Now, even though I could use the plasma cutter or the metal cutting circular saw to easily cut a nice straight slot in metal pipe, I thought that the Schedule 80 was going to be much faster. I marked the two inch Schedule 80 to about 7 16 wide to give a bit of grip on the plow. But somehow, even though I overcut the slot to exactly one half inch, the pipe has stayed on. I fully expected it to fall off, or at least get ripped off when my blade hit something and went into trip mode. But so far, it has held on tight. Maybe it's the thousand pounds or so keeping the pipe pressed on. Well guys, I hope this video keeps you from making the same mistakes I did, and hopefully saves you time, money, and frustration. If that's the case, please give the video a like. And also, I always enjoy reading your comments, so please let me know what your experience is with snowplow pipes down below. Alrighty then, thanks for watching, and I will catch you on the next video.